Good morning and thank you so much everybody for joining me here again on Prophetic Diary. I want to say hello to all my first time visitors and welcome back to all my subscribers. Guys, I am still trying to reach a thousand subscribers. We are getting really close because I would love to go live with you guys and uh, fellowship and I think it will just be really good for the community if we can just all, you know, talk and you guys get to see my face. I want to get into this word. So let's start off a prayer. Father God, I thank you so much for this time. I thank you for this opportunity to come before my brothers and my sisters, Father God. Father, we thank you for who you're creating us and to be, Father God, who, what, you, what you're bringing forth, Father God, out of us, Father God. We pray that you continue to mold us and shape us into the children that you've called us to be, Father God. I pray that this word goes forth, Father God, exactly how you want it to, Father God, that I decrease, Father, and that you increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, guys, um... I just wanted to give like a re kind of a reintroduction to prophetic diary. Um, I come every day that I can, that I'm led with a word that the Lord has shared with me. These are words that he shared with me that I would write in my diary. Um, the personal words, obviously I keep to myself, but if it's shareable and he places on my heart to share, that's what I do. So, um, I know they say, Oh, how do you know, prophets have a word every day. You know, I've, I've never called myself a prophet, but I would say that I have a prophetic word and you do too. Prophetic words is words that the Lord give us that we share with others. Um, we don't have to make it so hokey pokey around the word prophet because we're part of a kingdom there's prophets there's leaders there's pastors there's we all have a prophetic call you can be a hairdresser and someone sits in your chair and the lord give you a word for them so don't hold your voice back if you feel the lord gives you a word for someone you give it to them okay we serve a mighty god he's a big god and we got to be careful not to put him in a box because of a title so i have a word for you today um the Lord shared with me and it's around the word obedience and a lot of times we hear the word obedience I know for myself and I think oh God what did I do now you know it's like a father he says the word obedience and we get a little ruffled but the word spoke it to me differently he says you know there's some things I want you to walk away from so that I can do the greater things in your life there's some blockages and things that you may seem as innocent as harmful or harmful that I don't see as innocent and harmful and they could possibly be blocking blessings that I want to you know give to you and one of those things is like when I like hang out with my girls sometimes we'll go to a lounge and you know sometimes the crowd is not the best crowd you know what I mean it's not like anyone's in there talking about God so that's one of the things he want me to give out uh, some of the places that I hang out at and I'm okay with that one thing about me is if God tell me don't do it I'm not going to do it um, even if I see it innocent or I see myself innocent in that sense. So that's one of the things that I gave up this weekend. And I'll give up whatever he wants me to give up if there's more. So he was talking to me about um, obedience and how he wants to work it into our life. And the scripture that he's given me today is 1 Kings 2 and 3. And it says, and keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes. And um, the devil is always out to keep us in bondage, to keep us in one way. So a good example is you might be right around the corner from meeting your spouse. You might be right around the corner from getting that job. You might be right around the corner from getting a breakthrough from the childhood abuse. You know, I had a, a breakthrough Friday from all the things that I went through as a child um, growing up, my family swept a lot of stuff under the word rug. And once I got older, I had to deal with all that stuff. But the Lord gave me a breakthrough Friday and he just simply said, look how far you come. And just looking back along at how far I come is a breakthrough in itself. And I, I really, I really broke down and, and gave thanks to him. So we can be right around the corner from some of our biggest breakthroughs. We could be right around the corner from some of our biggest financial breakthroughs. We could be right around the corner from all of our dreams coming true. You know, we pray for our spouses. We pray for kingdom marriages. Maybe you're around the corner from the Lord giving that individual a breakthrough or opening that individual's eyes up about who you are to them and the role that they will play in your life. So 
being part of the kingdom of the God of God, there's a lot at stake because it's so wonderful and it's so grand and it's so fitted for us. But if we have ways of the world still on us, we're not solely fitted and we're not in our proper positions or wearing the proper garments for the festivities that God wants to us att attend. So we have to make sure we're in clean garments and that we're accepting the new garments that he's putting on, of, putting on us. So I want to encourage you today to search over your life and to go sit down and have breakfast with the Lord or have dinner with the Lord and say, hey, God, let's talk about my life. Let's talk about my ways. Let's talk about me, God. Let's, I know you love me, Lord. You, you love me so much. Father, you bless me with this. God, we've come a long way, Father. So I need you to talk to me, Father, today as a father and let me know what ways do you see crooked in my life that I can straighten up because I don't want to miss out on the blessings that you have for me, God, the things that you're planning for me, Lord. I don't want to miss out on those things, Father. So what do you have in your mind that I can work on or change so that I get with you what you want to give for me today, Father God? I don't want to miss my mark. I don't want to miss my breakthrough, Father God. If I'm worrying too much, please take worry out of my mind. If I'm doubting you too much, Father, please take doubt out of my mind. If I'm trying to act as you and act as God and change people, Father, I don't want to act as God and try to change people and manipulate situations to work for me how I want them to work. Father God, help me with that. If I'm too mean, if I'm too stern, if I'm too aggressive, if I'm, I'm too boastful, if I'm too prideful, Father, help me with that. It's time we have some real conversations with God because it's time to level up. We're not the same people we used to be. We are leaders. We are kings. We are kings and queens. We are on our way to take over our territory. We are called to a higher calling. And it's time for us to step into that. And we can't let these mediocre things that we do and people and idea and places that we go stop us. We have to wear our crowns everywhere we go. And if our crown can't fit in a door, then we don't need to walk through that door. It's time for us to walk into the doors that the Lord has called us to. It's time for us to sit at the tables that the Lord has made for us. It's time for us to hang and have conversations with the people that the Lord know that connect us to connect us to connect us to another soul, to another life that can be saved and changed. This is about the Lord's purpose in our life. These marriages are about the Lord's purpose in our life. And that's what we have to live out. And that's what we have to be. And that's what we have to operate in. So the word says in verse three. And keep the charge of the Lord, your God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes. We're going to walk in his ways and we're going to walk in his statutes because we want to look like him and walk like him and talk like him and be part of his kingdom and be part of the kingdom ship and a leader. When they see us, they're going to see royalty. I pray that this word blesses you, my brothers and my sisters. Please share with a friend. Thank you to all my givers. You guys have a wonderful and blessed week.